Welcome. In this session, we are learning how to enter commitments. In Sage, you will go to the PJ or Project Management module. Launch that. When it opens, go to Contract Control, Commitments. In the commitment number, you will enter a series of numbers that start with the job number. And in previous trainings, you learned that our job number are six digits starting with the year, for example, 15 for 2015, and then the job number. I'm using a sample job number. Then enter dash, and then the CSI division. I'm going to enter 09 for things like drywall. Then another dash, and then the chronological subcontract or commitment number. In this instance, I'm going to enter 04 because this is the fourth subcontract I've let under this CSI division. Typically, there will only be one, maybe two. Tab, enter a description, such as drywall. You could be more descriptive. Tab over, F4, select your vendor. If your vendor's not here, you need to request a vendor setup from accounting and legal, and they should be pre-qualified. I'm going to enter a subcontractor for drywall that is inactive, that we do not use. Uh, I'm going to hit OK. And then before I go on, I want to go back to the commitment number. After you've entered one, for example, and you wanted to edit it, you just go up here, hit F4, and it'll list all of your previously entered commitments. Okay, so now that we've entered the vendor, tab to the type, and it's either going to be a subcontract or purchase order. The vast majority of our commitments are subcontracts. Purchase orders are for materials that we buy directly, which is not common, or an architect. Uh, the purchase orders are subject to negotiated terms with either the supplier or the architect. Subcontract, we have our subcontract form and documents that we control and send out. Tab over, enter the date. Release to accounting, you can leave this open. It automatically fills once you save the commitment. Enter as a default 10% retainage. This can be negotiated. It's very rare, but we want 10%. Ignore final compliance approval. And tab over to this section, enter F, under the job, enter F4, and you should find the job that corresponds to this beginning commitment number. Extras is not something we often use, sometimes, and it's just an extra onto a job. Go to cost code, hit F4. Again, this is under CSI Division 9, so I'm going to select something in the 9 division. Under Category, hit F4 again. You should only see Subcontract. Again, if it's a purchase order, uh, you may see something like O for Other or M for Materials. And if it's not there, you can override this and hit O or M. And then go to the Amount. Enter the Amount. In this Subcontract, I'm going to enter something over 25,000. Uh, on occasion you'll get this warning which is saying that your commitment is more than your estimated cost. Estimated cost is a separate training but this is a good warning that you should go to the project manager or whomever estimated this and see why we are committing something more than what we estimated. I'm going to continue but again this is a warning where you should stop and ask some questions. Uh, continuing you can re, uh, enter something more descriptive than this, but the, generally it defaults to what the cost code is. And then over here on the right-hand side, you can enter things like scope. Typically, we reference an exhibit D for our scope description because there's not enough entry area for typically our scope. And then uh, you can hit OK. There are things like schedule. Again, we typically have our own exhibits. Insurance, this is entered by our legal compliance contract administrator. Checklist, 
this will help you. Other information that you might want to put in to track where the, the contract is. Uh, you have item detail. Any information you wish to fill in is fine. Inclu inclusions and exclusions are always good. And then once you're done with this, uh, you will, I'm gonna hit save line and you can save your commitment. And once you say yes to commitment, release to accounting will be checked. Printing your commitment is a separate training, so this is it for entering commitments.